Okay, y'all, to a new problem. Let's do um 82% um, out of 26. I don't know, 82% people, Pythagorean triple. It sounds like some math stuff that I don't want to do. I did this one already. 91. Okay, this one seems like a good one. 91, 7,000. Let's try this. So, in invert values, it says given a set of numbers. So, my input is going to be some numbers in an array. Return the additive inverse of each. So, I need to figure out what the additive inverse is. Um, each positive becomes negative, and each negative becomes positive. Oh, is that the additive inverse? So if it's a one, it turns to negative one, two, negative two, three, negative three, four, negative four, five, negative five, positive one, negative, negative two. Oh, that's what an additive inverse is. And if it's empty, just return empty. Do not mutate the input array list. I don't know what you mean. Do not mutate the input array list. Okay, well, I won't mutate. I'll just create a new one. How about that? Okay, so I think I understand this problem. Um, yeah, so this one's called invert values. Additive inverse. Cool. So I'm going to go to my IDE and I'm going to rename this one because we're not doing this problem. Um, not reformat. I want to rename, refactor, rename. It's going to be insert values. Then I'm gonna do a quick um, invert values, values MD. That way I can copy this problem so I don't have to come back here to see what was going on. Cool. Uh, do we have any test cases? Let's see if we got test cases for this one. Yep. So we'll copy our test cases as well and put those in here. Um, okay. All right, so I'll keep this on the right side. Uh -oh. uh, split right, there we go. Put on the right side. And let's start the problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and do our prep work. I like to do the prep work just so I completely know I understand the problem. And that gives me opportunity to do some pseudocode as well. So we're gonna do P, R, E, P. So we're gonna look at the parameters. So what parameters are we using for here? And the parameters, well, let's look at the arguments. So the arguments need to be given a set of numbers. So it's a set of numbers in an array. So um, the input is going to be a set of numbers as an array. Okay, so um, let's just make an example of that real quick. Um, so it's gonna be something like this. Well, let's just use this pseudocode down here. This is actually what one of the tests is. So one, two, three, four, five. That's where we're getting a set of numbers as an array. And we're gonna name that input. I think it already gives us a name. No, we don't have a name for it. Oh, yes, we, let's go back. It just says array. Um, Yeah, we can just keep that name, I guess. Make it, name it better, but we'll just keep that name for now. It says, okay, now what are we returning? In here, we need to return, it actually tells you implicitly, we need to return the additive inverse of each. So we need to return the additive inverse of each, but it doesn't say nothing, each um, number in the um, array input. So for example, um, we'll just use this. This is what it needs to turn into. So one needs to be negative one, two needs to be negative two, three. And we'll also put these in here. empty returns at empty that's important to know and zero negative zero let's just put that on um, you get zero so pretty much turn everything into negatives 
Well, if it's negative, turn it into a positive. If it's positive, turn it into a negative. And for example, we already have all of that. I guess we can just change this to over here. Um, well, we don't need an example. Just say C above. C above. Above. Okay, so we got our examples. What we want, input, output. Um, I'll also just put in another one. I, well, we don't need another example. We had everything. I'll just put my own example. Um, if I get a five, six, 10, 11, we'll put negative in there too. Negative 10. What I want to return is negative five, negative six, positive 10 and negative 11. Okay, so now that we have everything, we understand the problem, our inputs, our outputs, let's go ahead and start the um, pseudocode. And they gave us a incomplete function to work with. So I just copy that there. Um, there's an array that as an input. And for now, let's just return an array just to make sure my function is working. Uh, console.log um, invert array invert yeah invert um, what are we going to invert let's give it the second array here uh, let my r equal this and then we'll put in my r and that should give us yeah, what we just put in exactly what we put in um let's also do a test case too so like let my test equal my test one or you just put test one equal to um invert uh what is it this is supposed to equal each other so invert this is supposed to equal this right here so let's do a if let's uh yeah that should be fine. Should return true if that's true and false if it isn't. So we know we passed if it's true. And we failed because it's false. Cool. So let's do the test and well let's yeah the test and the function. And we failed because of this. All right. So our function is um, not working, but it's working. What we need to do is do some pseudocode. So let me think about how would I go about solving this problem? What we need to do is take this array. One, two, three, four, five. And if this is positive, so we can represent. So let's do that pseudocode there. Um, I need to iterate, iterate over my array, array, and determine, term, ermine, what are determine if, um, that threw me off, <laughs> determine if number is um, positive, positive, or negative. Negative, come on, positive, negative. So that's one thing that I wanna do. So if I iterate over here, I need to figure out which one is positive and negative. So if it's positive, then turn it into a negative. If it's negative, turn it into a positive. So that's another part I'll put here. If number is positive, positive, got it that time um, if the number is positive what I need to do is oh, let me just put it on one line what I need to do is no, I'll put it on two lines it makes it easier for me to read if the number is positive um, return negative 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 uh, well, what was that called? It was called additive inverse. 
Return the additive inverse. And we can do a else if number is negative, do the same thing. Return the additive inverse. Okay, so that's pretty much it. We're going to iterate through here. If this number is positive, we're going to return the additive inverse, which would mean negative. Same thing, same thing. Uh, if it's empty, that's the case we need to do. So first of all, if it's empty, just return nothing. So if, no, we don't do one pseudocode. If array dot length is equal to zero, then we need to return an empty array. Else, that's what we're gonna do. Else, we're gonna iterate over. Um, let's see. So that looks good so far. So another thing is, okay, once we iterate over the array, how do we determine if the number is positive or negative? How do we do that? Um, what I would do is say, determine if a number is positive or negative. What we can do is um, negative by How are we gonna, I'm trying to separate my pseudocode. <laughs> How are we gonna determine if the number is negative or positive? Uh, I guess, how do I do, wanna do this? I can do like this, I guess. Determine, determine neg positive by how? We can use an, um, of course, an if statement. You can do if i is less than zero. If it's less than zero, then return. Then it's negative. Then negative. And then we can just do it else. It's positive, All right? need a way that I can kind of just point that out without a better way anyway um okay so in the code we're gonna determine if it's negative positive by iterating and saying if that number I actually it'd be ri but the index is less than zero then it's negative okay so once you do that, if it's if it's positive or if it's negative, whatever it returns, if that number is positive, then how do we get the negative additive inverse? It should be, how do we do that? We just multi multiply it by what? So if it's negative, yeah, you just multiply it by, uh, so if it's positive two, so if it's positive two, we multiply by one by negative one. If it's positive two, if it's negative two, if we multiply by its negative, it's always going to return as uh, additive inverse. You multiply this by negative one, it'll be positive, which we need. Multiply this by negative one, it'll be negative, which we need. So, its additive inverse will always be. It, you get the additive inverse all the time, anytime, if you multiply it by negative one. Okay, so. Well, it doesn't matter then. You don't even need to know if it's positive or negative because you just go through it and then just multiply this by negative one. So that would be negative. Multiply this by negative one and then that would be positive. Huh, so we don't even need this. Um, What about the case when it's zero? What happens if I multiply zero by negative one? Do I get negative zero? I should get negative zero. I'm just curious now. So I do zero times negative one. Will I get um will I get negative zero? <laughs> it's not gonna get negative zero. Oh, I got negative zero. Okay, so that works then. All we have to do is iterate through each one of these and just multiply it by uh negative one. 
Uh, so that's easy. Get rid of this. Not get rid of it, but. So one way we can do it, I think we can just do array. Uh, maybe it's a for each. How do you do a for each? Array dot for each. Yeah, for each uh, X or element. What we'll do is this function right here. And it's just doing element times negative one. Oh, but it also said don't it don't change this array, I believe it said in the code. So let me get this a new one, I guess. Let um new r, which is a pretty bad name, but array. So then I'm doing return new array. New array for each element in there. We can run that function, but I'm curious, will it actually change that and put that in the array though? I don't think it will. So it's going through each um, array and it's gonna run this function, but it runs that function. So I don't think it's gonna put it back in there though. So I think I need indexes. So I'm not gonna do this one. Let's see. Um, What am I doing here? That's good. I need to do a for loop. So I'll do a for let i equal zero. I less than or equal to or less than the array dot length. Then we'll do i plus plus. And we want to go through each one console dot log just to make sure. Um, well, we got new array there. So new array i. And that should give me that prints every one. But if I do times negative one, that should give us the inverse that we were looking for. So yeah, so if you look negative one, one, two, negative two, three, four, so that's all right. And even if we added zero, oh, that's not what I'm looking for. I add zero here, should give you negative zero. Why didn't we get negative zero? One, two, three, four, five. And zero. That's interesting. What am I doing wrong? Okay, let's get rid of this test right there. Oh, because it's going there, I guess. Let's see, new array though, new array. What is this even? Console.log, it's a new array. Doesn't have zero in it. What am I doing here? Oh, this one right here, I believe. It's calling this, I think. Yeah, that's what it was. Okay. So that's negative one. And you get negative zero there. Okay, so that's what I wanted. Um, what am I doing now? I don't want this test to go like that. Um, okay, so we showed that when you console.log, it shows you all of this. So now what we have to do is actually make sure that goes into that array. So we can just replace those every number in that array. So we can do array or new array at this index. And that's going to equal um, new array i, whatever numbers in that index, you're gonna times it by negative one. 
And what that does is just replaces everything at that index with that number times negative one, which gives you your additive inverse. This question shouldn't have been this long, but um, so we can get rid of this. We don't need that anymore. Um, we only created this new array because that's what it said. It didn't want you to manipulate this initial array for whatever reason. So we got a new variable there and it's just iterating over each one of the um, numbers in our array and multiplying it by negative one, which gives you the additive inverse. And we're going to return um, the new array. 